talking about earlier that um, the cleaning products that I use and I realize it's so much more convenient for people if I just put the link in the description so that's why I'm gonna do everything that you see here uh, from my car and usage I'll put the link in the description and um, that way you guys can see what I can use I'll try you do a, a thorough cleaning video on what I can use to clean the exterior of the car as well by the way I mentioned that I use this to clean the interior of the car but I actually use this also to clean some of the exterior watch here we go I'll take my clean little cloth here there's hardly any kind of a bug splats in this area unless I take it on the freeway. But you can see here, this thing is normally a bug magnet, especially when you're just going down. You guys can probably relate. Uh, if you're here in California, 99 or Highway 5 or 101, pretty much you're going to get the agricultural bugs just splat all over the place or 132 off Modesto. They're just everywhere. So you can see here, it's sparkly clean. And I use this right here to lubricate it a little bit. It's like a more like a like I said, it smells like pina colada is really good. I'm trying to find a spot where I can show it to you. It just rained yesterday too, and I put the car cover on. It pretty much well protected it from all the dirt. There we go. There's finally one. Okay, so what you do is take a little mist of this guy here. And again, I'll do a thorough. This is like waterless wash kind of deal. You just go through a lot more rags if they need it, but I just take a little bit. And if you have bugs or anything, just let it sit in for a little bit before you actually give it a wipe and then when you do kind of wipe things just make sure you go in like a, a checker pattern across never swirl it will create you know light marring that you cannot see there we go there we go see this right here is a little bit on the edge of the PPF give it a little dap there it smells really good too heck if they serve this to me in a in a cup I probably drink and not realize it's chemical uh, but it's really good for clean exterior and interior of car yeah I never actually do swirl marks like here I'm just moving over and speaking of which there he is Tesla service guy he's here hey look at that pull right in welcome home so this is great now that they're here on time I scheduled for around 10 30 to uh how you doing let me ask him if he's in my... You mind if I just record a little bit? I was doing a little cleaning detail video. Awesome, brother. Where you go from? Uh, Fresno. Fresno, Michael. Right. There you go, I'm the owner. Okay. All right, uh, cool. Just a little slit there. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm not sure you have anything to clean the visor. Not I, big deal. I use like steam cleaner, it works. Okay. But unless you have something better than I know of. These guys are great, man. Your schedule, you can't always come on time, like in the middle of things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 8.30 was it? 8.30, 10.30? Yeah, 8.30. He got, he got here around 9.30, right in between. Yeah, I didn't have to wait too long. Got my uh, breakfast and everything. Right. And Tesla service trucks just rolled right in. Sorry, I don't want to make you paranoid or anything. I'm just doing this for my own YouTube. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, this is it. they going to do the whole door? The whole panel, yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> this thing must be in the warehouse, and huh? that's a little dusty. Yeah. You need more space? You want me to move the car forward, or? Uh, you know what? I think you Let's might see. Be... You should be. Good. Are you good? You you can do this. Okay. Yeah. They're probably gonna take this off, but that's all right. I got one with garbage anyway. Yeah, we should be good. We awesome! Be Look at that whole new door just for that little slit here. What happened door? was, don't know, like a pressure tear or something. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know. You can see that yeah. often or no? I haven't seen it. So I me yet, either. So Ooh, this is a little bit dusty. Yeah, I thought it was that. Yeah, but it's brand new, right? Yeah. Got the speaker and everything attached to it. Oh, yeah. Speaker looks a little different, doesn't it? My speaker looks a little bit more clean. Yeah, this is definitely. You can see how clean my car is comparable. But yeah, this thing's brand new. Ugh. Hope it's not from a savage. <laughs> Yeah, but this is right here where it slid off right here. So yeah, what we're going to do is, while he's doing that, I guess we can video it. But I was thinking of showing you guys a little bit more on some of the accessories I get. And I realize, you know, it's for convenience. I make a few extra bucks or something like that for convenience of sharing you the link to where I get things from. I'll start off with a little bit the trims right here. Came from Amazon. Mostly stuff probably from Amazon. The trim. There's a good quality ones and there's a cheap ones. These actually... This was about 70 bucks. It was worth it because it was actually a little bit more sturdier. It was heavier. Going inside here, let's see what else I have. You got these titanium. I forgot to mention these guys here. See, they look great, don't they? 
You got the 3M floor, 3D floor mats. So I did upgrade. Let's see what else. This is where I keep a little bit of my partial tools. Oh, and then also have this center jack. And what's really cool, I forgot to mention this guy here. Not much as my Hot Wheels, but talking about my front license plate. It easily, easily. It's magnet. It's, this is by Oto. You ever seen one of these before? Just slaps right on magnet. Oh yeah, those are nice. Oh man, they, they, they're a grip, but they are worth it. Oh, yeah. Look at that, see right there. Stop one down. Yeah, you have a Tesla? No, nah, I got a Jeep. Man, you can fix your own anytime. Uh, no, you got a Jeep, huh? Nice. You seen the Model Y yet? Anyone's got them around town yet? Not yet. I think they're supposed to be delivering this month. I know. Some of so my family who didn't care for the smaller. But you know what? I think if you have three, this is the perfect size for a family of three. Uh, maybe even four if you have a little small one. But when you get to more than that, maybe why not get the Y? So that's it right there. Just slaps on. And you can screw it for permanent too, by the way. The screws right in there so while he's getting there busy we're gonna show oh there's another dirt mark right here car is pretty clean huh try to maintain every detail all right I put this guy back here I'll put it there for now to sort out later yeah they're doing some nice wash for you Warehouse gets dusty, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, probably not one of those common used parts. I was noticing the speaker. If you notice, mine's a little bit more, maybe from the angle, it looks a little bit more clear. I mean, not clear. This one looks like see-through almost, huh? Like the, the mush is taken out of it. Or it might be because mm -hmm. of the lighting. Maybe. What's yeah, it could be the lighting. Let me get all these little... You want water? Uh, no, I'm okay. You we sure? Got, I got a little fridge in there. Okay, already. no problem. I got you can use the cloth there in the vacuum chair if you would need it for any reason. If you don't, that's fine. Okay. All right, while he's doing that, we'll see how he does it. Look at that. Look at brand new. He just sprayed some special new paint on there. Very cool. Wow. It's like a zippity. Oh, you know what? Look at this one. Yeah, that one do. You have another one? No, that's the only one. Oh, no. This is worse yeah. than mine. Okay. Yeah, if you can't let them know, I, I won't accept it like this. Yeah, no problem. Okay, sorry about no that. No, it's Shit. all good. Is there any other way you can just take a certain part from it, though? Hmm. No, because they're like plastic welded together. Yeah, yeah, the whole one piece? Yeah. Okay. So yours is... Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, that one looks more dinked up than mine. Bummer. Oh man, yeah. No. Sorry about that. No problem, no problem. We'll schedule it again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just right, let you let them know in the office or? Oh yeah, I'll let them know. Okay, cool deal. Yeah, because that's. And do you have anything uh, to clean the visor? Yeah, let me check it out real quick. Yeah, yeah. It's not that big of a dirty, like a little light booger spot. Like I caught it here. See there. That happens. Unless this section comes off, but it doesn't. You're right. It's all one piece, huh? Yeah, that sucks. Let's see. No, I just see it already. The seam. There's no seam to open. Yeah. What is the one that's ripped? Oh yeah, it's that main part too. That corner, uh huh? Yeah, there. Yeah, it's one piece. Yeah, no, it's not. I wouldn't be able to do that way. Yeah. This, this piece right here. Yeah, that's the one I needed right too. There. Yep. Oh, it's just like a little vinyl, huh? Yeah. That goes right. over. It doesn't seem too hard. See, what's crazy is that these are, you can drill that out, but putting it back in together is. Yeah. yeah. No, I'll, I'll let them know. Oh, for sure, for sure. Thank you so much. No, no problem. And they'll probably reschedule me? Yeah, they'll just. Okay. Order, order the new part again, and then it gets here. It's you know all good. Saying, so how many more runs do you have? Can I see your truck? Uh, yeah, go ahead. That looks freaking crazy. Okay. What is it? Is it even a Tesla or no? No, it's a... Uh, it's converted? Ford. Oh, okay. No, not yet. I think they're in the process of going 
Yeah. You think they give you like a Model X or something? Well, we had, <laughs> I think they're working on Model Xs now. Oh, really? We had Model Ss. Is this there? Gotcha. It's a it's volume. a very light spot. Maybe yeah. Side. You know what? Maybe I could probably take care of it myself. But yeah. you, you can't even see it, huh? Look at that. I'm talking about like a little spatula like uh, that. Unless you have a, a this, little. This is the last thing I might clean it up. Oh really? Yeah. Shouldn't I can put a little bit more than? Okay. That's what you do, huh? Yeah. It takes out water spots and everything. That's cool. Yeah, this one might is a little deeper though. Yeah, it is. I think it's actually in the grass. It happened during the service uh, visit. I guess maybe one of the mechanics or something. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't. I usually I know all my car details. Right. Something happens to it. You know how it is. Oh yeah. Car passion. Cool, cool. Yeah, that one you might. Don't you worry about it, man. That was good enough. Oh. You did your part. Yeah, but yeah, definitely. Give me another, uh, no another one that makes it workable. Sorry, you make a trip all the way over here. Oh, it's all good. Are you heading back to Fresno? Nah, my next tour in Turlock. Oh, there you go. So you're along the way, man. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> they scheduled just right. Oh yeah. That's crazy. Right, what do you have to talk? There's a. Oh, that was it. A torque screw here. And, and a torque screw there. Here, yeah. Oh, okay. And then it just pops out. Oh, okay. It's already tightened back. Oh yeah. We're good. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. What's well, your name again? Rod. Rod, nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you, too. Thank Al. you. Have a good fun. I'm sure I'll be back. You check out my YouTube channel, <laughs> NCY Store. That's what I do. NCY Store? Yeah, we just sell okay. a little bit of here and there. No problem. Awesome. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be back soon. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> but hopefully. it's not an emergency or nothing like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, hopefully it won't yeah. be too long. You know? Yeah, yeah. I just like to have it ready. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So he's out. And we're going to show you guys how a little bit... Uh, so, for instance, a little dirt there. I have my rag somewhere, right? My yellow rag. Try and use my existing old rag. There we go. Let's put this guy back here. Oh. Yeah, I think um, with this part, I mean, that's why I got this whole kicks thing to protect in case it ever gets dinked up right here. And I just had this rip right there. we're gonna do let's see there's a little dirt right here where was my clean pot yeah I got two new items to share with you they're both pretty much from Amazon again I'm gonna share with you all this and you got one piece carbon fiber clean the EV dash which is amazing I mean I can go on all the details I put into this car you'll start noticing here I'm not sure if I talked about it already we got the the rims we got the little valve stems right there. Tesla. Those are really nice. They start changing color on me though. They kind of made it to like a little bronze color looking. And then let's see here. There it is. Let's wipe it down a little bit. Here, get clean. Is it Junior, your uh, supervisor? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell him I said what's up. <laughs> Here we go. Kind of know everyone there at Tesla Service Center. This is coming from Fresno one when I schedule it. Um, they said, you. all right, you too. Have a good day. There we go. You can see they did a great job on the PPF. I mean, they even put the this one you could probably get also. Uh, they're called door seals. I don't think they'll have for the rear one, but they, the PPF people did mine the whole piece for me and they included this one here. It's a really thick Expel film PPF. There you go, I'm always cleaning my car. So I guess there's pops that open and so forth. See here, that heat spill sure stayed pretty well. Didn't have to worry about that guy. Going back here again. The door seals, I forgot, these are actually protected. Uh, if you ever hit your heels or anything like that, especially woman, you know, they have those little sharp heels and stuff. They could dig into your car. Well, this one's protected as long as they also did extra PPF here, which again, this is extra add on from the PPF company. Paint Protection Film, uh, Protective Film Solution did that for me. But this door seals here, you can actually get from Amazon. 
That's a very inexpensive part just to protect his logo, Chrome. And you can't even tell it's on there. I did a great job. I did it myself, actually. So you can, if I try to zoom in the details, you can't even see it's actually on there or not. All right, so let's get started on a few things here that I got want to share with you. Um, we got the noise window shield. And then also, we got, let's go look at the trunk. We got everything in here now. Let's go check out our trunk. Trunk in the front. Push, oh, actually, you know what I do? I, I actually get my car cover. I got this door open like this. When I actually just got it open, reach over right here. You know, there it go. And then I just push the button from the other side. Look at that, beautiful. It all opens up. I have my car cover. Here's the other one. It comes with a pretty much a two piece, including the front titanium right here. You can see, and this is just great. And I forgot while I was here to show you. Oh, a lot of few things in here that I did also. Do you remember the screen there? It actually does protect the leaves, especially little small ones. You know, during this time, the pollination, everything just comes flying from these trees. And these cracks are here to let the leaves go in. But this since is round circle doesn't now they come up with another one with a, like a filter i think it's okay but for the most part you know i don't care for make sure you leave this tag out it's for the fire department to know where to cut your positive power line uh, a lot of people tuck it back in which is not cool i mean aesthetically i know it's not that pretty to look at it's like a sore but not that bad you got your whole hood closed anyway but for safety recommend keeping it out again this is the the one add on here Oh, that's what I was going to show you, dummy. I was going to show you the insulating, hood insulator. If you notice right here, uh, these are also available on the description. I'll put a link down there. You can get this one here. I did a pretty nice job putting it all in here. Hit it right there. Again, this little part right here, I'm just training the PPF not to lift a little bit. So not a big deal. You see here, I rolled up my cover very conveniently. And I'll do a thorough cleaning video for you. All the stuff I use to maintain my car and clean it really well. The mirror is really not that clean right now. Uh, let's see here. These are also protected. You can get these clear door seals as well. Uh, Nikola, Nikola actually also makes like Chrome Delete self do it yourself. I think it's pretty neat. Maybe get the. I'm not sure it'll look good. I definitely. I seen how the gloss one looks. It looks like really like ugh, paint. Uh, even though it's not paint, it's vinyl. But I'm thinking more like, um, look at that. See, it's easy to clean when you have paint protection film with ceramic coating. It just glides off. It doesn't even have to use that much uh, water. But it doesn't hurt. Give it a little bit of that spray. This is probably the one that I need to actually get the most off. See, that little dirt always piles up right here. Look at that. It just comes right off. Bugs, especially in the front, it's kind of nice. This is where dirt gets trapped very, very easily. All right, there we go. Cool, and then we got this guy right here. All right, be careful if you do clean these guys and you pick up gravel and everything, make sure you keep. Your microfiber clear debris when you start coming back into your coming back into your clean surface the reason why is you don't want to scratch it there's a little pebble get caught that's why it's good to use a little bit more open microfiber like this that way you can rotate sides too you can do it four sides or however got a little bit more sure from the other area here probably come back to this guy right here There we go. Nice and clean. Yeah, they did a great job. Look at the PPF is fully around. It's not halfway where it's wiggly right here like most places do it. This is actually a full, and they usually don't uh, do this other than if it's actually stealth mode. But I got them to do a great job in making it clear. So I'm very, very well pleased on this one. All right, so we have also these floor mats. You can see here floor mats they take it a little bit worn out here 
for my shoe rubbing it, but I'd rather have it wore out this guy, this little thick plastic that comes with it, versus my actual carpet deep inside. Over here, I actually have the original performance model carpet. They actually hooked me up. Uh, they gave me all the performance model, and usually standard range plus doesn't include with that, but I guess they make up for the inconvenience of my service. Uh, having to take it back so many times, fit and finish this year. Tesla has been notorious about it. You remember I started out my first video showing Tesla was a little spec here. Well, they took this whole thing and they repainted everything. And that was actually redone. When they did that, they actually painted this over. And not only that, though, they painted over. They took off our PPF protection films. And I'm like, why would you need to actually paint this? But anyway, we got that square away. Protective Film Solution was kind enough to actually get this all redone for us at no charge extra. So that was kind of nice of them. Um, let's see here what else I got to share with you. I'm just going all around. And speaking of charger and cases, I'm going to get to in a little bit these two packages in there. I'm excited to share with you. Um, let me go with the glove carbon organizer. As I got this as well. Very neat to have organizing. I try to put the things that are not so... I, get, I say some things you put on there is really cheesy. But this helps me a lot. It keeps all my organizing right here my manual you know my registration my service visit tesla when they tag it um and then also i carry this in the front which i hardly use because i'm always a uh pretty much a tesla charging station i don't have to worry about that okay let's see here um going over here again i probably showed you i got the long version of this which is better than just a little short one because it actually allows you to have a second layer and it also allows you to have the dome light still showing right here the internal light so that's well taken care of there i got the charger where you can actually lay your phone this way and also that way so too it doesn't have that huge beam here so i try to get things that are the most convenient cool sunshade very easy feel like batman a little bit it just kind of shows up. Actually, the black looks really nice versus the gray. I think the gray is supposed to reflect somewhat, but I think the black is supposed to attract more heat, right? So what I do is I just still put it, I put it where the black is. You have a little hanger too. So I'll put this one right now, but to my block a little bit of our sunlight we need. That's okay. Probably do it one hand here. Oh, also, I forgot to show you the SD card and everything else. There it go. Not bad. He cleaned it. It was like a glass cleaner sort of he used. Interesting. Uh, I did steamer, right? You saw me with the steamer better. I think steamer's off. Again, I'm very paranoid, so I'll take a cloth to bring this down. Because I don't even want to touch what's supposed to be normally <laughs> usability. <laughs> That's just me. All right, so let me get into the other side real quick. Also, I recommend if you're gonna go ahead and use your dash cam, uh, make sure you get a good one that actually allows you so many times because the USB one, straight up USB one, will only work for a certain amount. And you can actually loop this guy here. There you go, to help hold a little bit more. But other than that, it will hold nicely. Simple, right? Look at that. Very nice. And then from the outside, it doesn't look cheesy either. It doesn't look like you have a trash pack. Especially, look at this. It's black on black. Isn't that neat? Let's see if I can get an angle where you can see it. Oh, the sun's just blocking the view of it. Again, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna live with my Chrome for a little bit. I'm not gonna do the Chrome delete yet because I really wanna enjoy my Chrome. The reason why is I like Chrome is, I got this Chrome piece because I really wanna Simulate a little bit of the Model S sort of deal. I like the fact how they put the little beam right here that goes through a light in Model S. And I also like the Model S front too, but I came to appreciate the cute, uh, my car is called Casper by the way. Came to appreciate the cute little uh, nose front right here. Doesn't look too aggressive. So I like it this way. You know, it's almost like a unisex car. Not too aggressive like a guy guy. And then a female can still drive it, be perfectly. And that guy can still drive it because it's still very sporty and you know, kind of a sharper look too. So it's the same. Uh, let's see what else, can else to show you. What other things I want to show you. Oh, yep. Coming over here. 
I use Anchor Brand Charger. That I showed you guys before. These guys right here, it charges the most. Comparable to this one right here. Even though they say it's a supercharger. If you were to put your, well, you want to be able to have everyone view in the back. You, you know what you're watching. You could put your phone right here because I have it where it's a flap. And my phone sits in like this. I'll show you. I use all Anchor Brand charging. Make it easier. See how this one right here? This is two different style. We got this flap one right here. But we're going to do a little bit better than that. We're going to decide where to get the pull down one where it actually pushes it. And these ones are in those two packages right now. I can't wait to unveil for you. And then um, let's see here. The screen protector. Let me see if I can get the screen to go off first. We'll do maintenance here. Uh, service. Let's go ahead and wiper service mode. Uh, we can go display. Screen cleaning. You know, it's there. It's not glare. It's kind of a little bit matted. And this is, by, this is by Elon screen. Shout out to Elon there. Press and hold. Press and hold for a little bit longer. You can see there, it's a really nice. And I did a perfect job on the corners there. You can't even. Watch, I'll show you the corners here. Now that I got the sun blocking, I can do this. You can see that? Hardly any dust. Well, inside anyway, there's none whatsoever. Look at that corner there. See that? This tempered glass is fully matted. They are a little expensive. I think it was almost close to like 60 bucks. I didn't get any kind of promo or anything like that. I'm just, you know, sharing the product. Uh, but if you guys like to order, uh, it's available in the description link. Um, also, here we go before I go. There's so many things to share with you. If you notice here, I got the Anchor portable charger here pouch. They'll carry too. Now, I was going to tell you underneath here, this is where, you know, most people probably look at this and saying, okay, this is all there is to it. There's nothing else. But again, there's this, that very bottom level. This is, I call this level two. So if you open this up, you'll see now. There it is. This is the Sun Tree one right here. This is what I use to record. The reason why they recommend it not straight USB is you want to use a micro USB because it can allow you to write uh, much more longer and last longer. And I use a really good um, a high endurance one by ScanDisk, 256 gigabyte. Now you're saying, well, how could you format FAT32 is more than you know 32 gigabyte. Well, what happened is there's a program you guys can actually use. So this allows me to record for almost three months, I kid you not, 90 days in full sections. Because I went back to my recording back as far as November, and we're in what, March now, the beginning. So this allows you to record quite a bit, 256. It records all four cameras. So it's very neat. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back. And so that was there too. Let's see here. No, it didn't go all the way yet, sorry. So you have to put this, make sure you guys slide all the way. Or else the dome light will prevent this from closing properly. There we go. Much easier now than the wireless charger, of course. That allows you to lay your phone this way, that way, and that way. All right, so we got that one there. Let's see what else I did. So many things. If I, I thought I never did a lot of things, but I, after I look at it, I got quite a bit of stuff. If you guys ever want to do the same thing, it's in the description below. And it's going to show you some. Yeah, my anchor charger I use is also for the wall one. You see there. It allows you a quick charge 3.0. So I can connect my phone to it. So I use a lot of anchor brand. And again, it's in the description. We got the 3M mats already. Um, not sure again, you got the switch on here. Yeah, I'll do a thorough cleaning video, so I'll kind of share with you what I did. I bet you the minute I stopped this video, I'll be like, oh, I might share that, but I'll catch that again next time. Uh, when you guys see me do my washing video, uh, I use the Adam Detailer chair to rotate. These again are available from Amazon, descriptions below. These are great, you can put your cleaning products there and you can actually, you know, get really good and going. Watch, it'll roll for you. Should I show you? That's no problem there. Oh, it's plastic, so it's not going to scrape anything. I mean, all the plastic all around it, pretty much in the main area, so it's not going to really scrape. That's what's great about using 
things that are made for, you know, washing and detailing their more respective chairs. So that's it, Michael from NCY Store. I hope you guys like this video. I'll try to keep it pretty much under 30 minutes. So, and uh, watch the description below for all the things that you'll need. This is definitely more consistent. That's what I meant to say. You don't have to wait for God. That's the reason why we're going to showcase and open the two different compartments. I think I wrapped it up too soon, huh? <laughs> Got too over excited myself. Okay, let's give this a tear. Oh, like, yeah, my keeping gun, thank you for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a tear. There we go. All right, let's see what this one entitles. Comes in a nice little baggage. There we go. It's all pretty much made from China. Um, I don't think the carnivorous issue with transferring uh, it's only maybe <laughs> unless they bottle it up then <laughs> I gotta be concerned but you should be okay um, this is a nice one too it's clear if I can get out here <laughs> okay there we go this one's a clear one I was thinking of going with the clear one it has nice little look like double adhesive tape on four corners a little bit different than the other one the other one had a straight across like this and then one straight across like this so this actually might do a little bit even better but we'll see this looks like it's just mainly the cushion and the actual tape itself is just this little area here so it looks like they put it yeah they just put in a little four corners here I guess these are just for pressure cushion so it's only the adhesive is only right right there um, what's great about this one, it actually doesn't flap, so you have to slide it. So depending on how what you like to do, um, I guess it only goes a certain way. I don't think you can just decide which way you want to go. So one side might be up, one side might be down. Or is it perfectly square? You can do it any other way. If you do it this way, it's like your stash for candies or something, right? Go like this and then put your underneath. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? Just, especially if you have a lot of m, &M just go whoosh, let it pour out of there. Let's see. So we might be replacing this guy uh, with this one. That way there's no more flap. The flap one, I mean, I sometimes don't I forget to close it. And then what happens is it gets crunched like this a little bit. You know, even though it doesn't do it right now, but it, eventually. And then you have to snap it a little bit hard. But at the angle of opening it, it's kind of like you have to put your elbow right here. So if you don't mind, this might work well for you if you're using the other hand. So if I'm using this hand, then it's normal, right? I'm just reaching over with my left hand to curve around. But definitely, it's not something where, you know, naturally you want to grab with your right arm. It just doesn't feel natural. You know, you have to put yourself out of the seat a little bit or tilt the seat halfway in order to do that. Or, but you can definitely reach nicely with the right hand. Uh, I mean the left hand. And put it on there like that. So we're thinking of taking that one and putting it with this one. Now, it doesn't seem like the white stands out much. It actually looks pretty complimentary to the clear white seats. So I think I might do the white. But I also have another choice of color here. I want to share with you. I'm going to open this guy up. The great thing about getting Prime membership, they ship it to you like the very next day almost. Could have got anything ordered with them. Oh, hey, how are you? Good. Got a package? Yep. Awesome. Oh, everyone's here today. I got mail for you too. Thank you so much. Yep. I wonder what this one is. Okay. Getting packaged all over. There we go. Thank you, sir. It's already prepaid. Right, thank you, sir. Take care. Absolutely. You have a good one. Thank you. Glad you talked to me. <laughs> just fixing up my car. What are you doing? Uh, just putting a little cover onto it here and there. A little accessories. You know, a little flap here. Oh, a little okay. mod stuff. You have a Tesla? I was going to say, man, we can hey, modify you things. <laughs> You're the only one I know that has them. Hey, oh, yeah. These are great cars. Screen, uh, you'll have fun riding with these. They, they zoom. They, a lot of people think it's like a golf cart. Mm -hmm. They got the wrong impression with Tesla. Can, they think it's quick and a torque. It never shuts off. Okay. Once, yeah. Once you go, it's, it's like a smart car because you don't have to push the start button. Oh, okay. Yeah. Once you get in, it, just put it on drive. You're done. Oh, you're, you're gone? Yeah. When you walk away, it locks up and everything wow. for you. It's just like your phone. It just, it's constantly on. That's cool. Yeah. How do you charge it? Uh, that's a good question. We have a charger here. 110 will charge it probably in three days. 
it gets like 200 miles in three days. But if you have like a 240, which is like a dryer, uh -huh. six hours. Oh, is it? Yeah, so you have a gas station at your house. You never have to go to a gas station. Yeah. Charge at night. Get it. it also has a way where it smartly charges it. And t you tell when you're going to depart, like at 7 in the morning. Uh -huh. It'll set to charge around maybe, what, 7? So it'll probably charge it around 2 o'clock in the morning for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just plug it in. Let's see if this guy will open if I push it. Oh, wow. Yep. That's you don't so have cool. to... And then when you go to a Tesla supercharger, they charge even quicker, like 20 minutes. Oh, that's it? You, when you, most of them are everywhere. They're in shopping centers. Like like shopping in, centers like that. I see the one like in Gilroy. And, exactly. Yeah. If you go where outlet, right, right. Like 20 minutes? Yeah, 20 wow. minutes, really. It'll get you at least maybe 100 miles or so. Oh, wow. No sweat. And then the, you don't have to put your credit card, nothing. They automatically know your car. It bills you. Oh, really? Yeah, it puts it like on your app. Oh, that's cool. It's like your Starbucks. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to do nothing. You don't even have to think about it. You just plug it in and the charger opens. That's nice. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I got to get one. Join the club. Who knows? We'll get it there. That's cool. Awesome, brother. A lot of six cameras everywhere. They got the whole screen here, everything like that. That's cool. Yeah, so if someone gives you a hard time to try and be a hole, especially high patrolling, yeah. <laughs> you can tell you're on camera, man. So whatever you think you're doing to me, I have you on record it. <laughs> yeah, it stays on as long as you have your battery at like 50% level. Yeah, I mean 50 miles left, so I don't know, maybe a quarter, 25%. Oh, okay. Yeah, it stays on. So when there's accidents, someone rear ends you, you got off cover. There's not no need to argue. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, thanks a lot, brother. Okay, so that's the mailman here. And here we go. This is it. It came in another kind of a, it came in a box this time, this one here. I guess some people ship in a box and some people ship directly a uh, little bit of a softer cushion. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I get a lot of tension with my Tesla. Uh, especially among, you know, I guess it's still new to people. Uh, I guess we're not in the Bay Area where it's so familiar. Uh, we're here in, you know, cow country almost, you could say, agriculture. Now, what do you guys think about the smoke color? It looks like everything is the same. The only difference is, is a smoke color one. Again, all these accessories, you guys, you guys can find them below in my description link. I should start saying that because I have, actually, you know what, look. The smoke color looks exactly the same. Okay, give me your comment. What do you guys think? Should I go with the smoke color one? Or should I go with the clear one? The clear one, it feels like, you know what I mean? It feels good still. I mean, I could do either one. But what, you got, what we gotta do is actually see the quality built. In addition, because they're these were actually given by two different companies and sellers. This one does go pretty low, low. Look at that. This one goes to the point where it almost flies off. I'm not sure if I want this one. <laughs> uh, and it's also showing some scrape marks already. Um, again, this is an honest review. I paid full price for these guys. Uh, and now, now it's like it's hard to even open and lock. Yeah, this one looked like it was made uh, brand new. It looked like it was kind of made kind of in. No, man, look at this guy. This barely wants to do it. If you look at the clear one here. Look at that. I think they fixed all the bugs. Look at that. See that? All right, you guys. See the description below. More than likely. Uh, tell me which color you do like, though. And maybe I can get another one that's more smoother. Maybe that was just a defective one. Uh, right here. What's great about Amazon, you know, it's defective. You can always just send it back to them. Uh, look at that one right there. Clear one, I think it's... Right now, I'm probably going to go with the clear one. But you guys let me decide. Only because it helps complement a little bit my transparency of my seat covers as well. Oh, I should go with the brown one. All right, stay tuned. Anything I forget, I will mention next time when I do a thorough cleaning of my car, exterior, as well as probably interior, and then the window as well. I'll show you exactly the um, invisible glass and also pretty much Adam's uh, tough thing. You can see how it cuts through, and as well as Adam's big, huge uh, um, drying cloth there, which <laughs> this morning was crazy because uh, it was actually so cold, and we had rain uh, pretty much the afternoon yesterday, and... It was kegged on there. It was huge. And I wiped it all out with um, pretty much that cloth. That thing is just super soaked. I mean, it could probably rinse. I would say it can rinse the whole car, this one, this car, and maybe another car, three cars before it actually needs to be squeegeed out because that thing is just like three by three almost. And you can actually almost just, you know, just kind of like lay it on there like a carpet and drag it, which, you know, recommend it. And it just wipes everything clean off of one wipe versus multiple. I don't know why bugs always like maybe it's the chemical of these things 
mammoth. Well, anyway, uh, Michael from NCY Store, that's about it right now. I'm going to go and put it on there, and um, you'll see it on my next video once it's done. It doesn't seem that complicated. You just pretty much peel the adhesive four stickers on and um, take it back off. Now, let's go and pull this one off right here before I even end the video. That way you guys can see how I take this one back off. There is no backing support, so what you see is what you get. So, there we go. That was it. That's nice. See, this one. It's a full sticker all the way across. So sticky all the way, all the way around. And this one's just very top level. This one, what we're gonna do. So we got three compartments here. I'm always actually ordering multiple because like just like I did my switches, right? I don't regret this one at all. This has been a great thing for me. Have the switch here. So far it's holding up really nicely, no problem whatsoever. See that? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This thing looks like it's kind of curling up a little bit. I'm not sure why is that. It feels like there's a, like a little curl effect or something. But I think it's still okay though. Looks good. I like it the way that, that no regrets whatsoever. I, I don't regret drilling my hole in this one. I definitely am not. Uh, you can see here, this is like the hidden storage area here. I think it's made for you to be able to put something a little bit more above and extract, but I don't really don't use that much for anything. You can see here, I just put a few things underneath here. Uh, I'm not sure, this came with it, so I didn't upgrade this at all. Again, uh, the, some of the mats and stuff like that already comes with it. Like this right, well, this doesn't have mat, but... Customer sent me candy from Hawaii. A little bit different, but it was really good. Really uh, interesting. <laughs> uh, uh, not my, my favorite, but it's still pretty interesting good. So, there we go. Um, you gotta put that in there. So we're gonna decide whether to go with, uh, well, it's right now, currently right now, I'm definitely not gonna put that defective other one. So I think I like this one, I really do, look at that. See? And now this is before I even peel the tape off. There we go, get a little bit in there, out. Oh, this does actually, if you don't know your own strength, you will actually come back. But I think it's gonna hit that bump once I push this and flush it more in. So there will be a bump for it to help support. So there we go. Or maybe it goes the other way. Let's see if it actually goes two directions, shall we? Alright, so we're going to flip it around. Let's see. I think it's perfectly square, actually. Oh, actually it doesn't. See, it only can go a certain way. Because I feel like right here, it's not even letting you push it in. Because I believe this one, and this one is not, this one's more fatter. So it kind of opens, not like a perfect square. So it's almost like a little bit of like going narrower on the top. So I think the only way is this guy right here. Which is good because you want this to be blocked because uh, you don't want anything to fall loosely when you open it. So, so the the M and M trick ain't gonna do it. So it only goes a certain way. This has to be pretty much over the top. This part has to be the very top door, and it also slides very neatly below, which is good. That way it won't get caught up in anything here, which is smart for them. So I really like this. I really do. I think this is a great add-on. Okay, Michael from NCY Store. Definitely check this out on my description below. If you like any of the stuff here, anything that I did to the car, you can always find it on Amazon uh, with my affiliate link. It'll help this channel out also to support me. Maybe give me a few bucks. Uh, but I definitely uh, just enjoy uh, doing this because these are all the products like... Oh, yeah, that's why I forgot. If you see those pillows there, I also have an air mattress too with a inflate pump which i'll share with you on the link below you'll probably see it if not i will definitely demo it that way you can see when i lay it down there that's the reason why i built these switches right here for the trunk is so i can actually be able to go camping or anything like that enjoy the beautiful you know open window that tesla offers and as well as the ability to pop open that uh, hood on cube with my fat toe so that's it thank you